SGC here, and we're back with a new segment. This is somewhat new because I've never done it before. I got the awesome chance to view a short film, and they were like, dude, could you review it? And I'm like, sure, why not? And I'm reviewing Game Companion, short film, directed by Jeff James Monson, and written by Brian Morulan. Sorry about my pronunciation, because it's fail. It's about two hardcore gamers who've played this video game, and all of a sudden when they beat the game, they have this reward thing, and then it gives the gamer a companion, like a real life companion sort of thing, and you pick it from the game. And obviously things go as planned, because, you know, video game characters in real life has no worries whatsoever, right? No. So obviously things go crazy and nuts, and you just gotta find this game companion thing. I think if, if, if it's released online, I'll update the links below or what have you. So what I like about this thing? Well, first off, the visuals is awesome, and the premise is awesome. As a gamer, I often thought about, like, whoa, what would it be if I was inside this video game? And this time, this thing, different approach, as in, like, the game comes to you. So it's like some crazy video game characters in life in life with you and that'll be pretty cool as well. As the video game they're playing is a fighting game, they have these live action sequences where they show as they're playing, there's live action people in cosplay like duking it out and that's amazing and awesome and just really fun to watch and I totally enjoy that part of this entire thing because it felt authentic and real and it was just natural to pull the moves that they did. I mean as a short film you have budget issues or requirements or whatever but it's awesome that they put so much time and effort and money in that and it was just really awesome to see how real this gaming fighting game thing was. I also enjoyed the dialogue that Kubiko and her sister brought when they came to the real world. And it was just like super like jarring and weird and different because they talk as if they would talk back in the game and it was just really amusing to have real life conversations with video game characters and it's just like things are lost in translation for sure. And I totally enjoyed that because it was just like, like how does that even work? Like a video game character trying to process real life applications is just nuts. So now in terms of the humans, we have three humans by the name of Bob, Cecil, and Janie. Bob is your main character and I would say he's hit and miss for his acting for me because sometimes it felt really overact and he really got my pet peeve for sure as in he overact what a gamer looks like. As in you button mash all the time and you twitch and you just move a lot and it's just like really exciting. Like I play video games dude, like I play fighting games. When I'm intense and concentrated I just sit still and I'm just like don't talk to me. Like I'll talk to you but I'll fight and fight and fight. Not like this. But then I guess I sort of understand and he's sort of the comic relief in all of this but it's just still like jarring and just pulls me out of the immersion. On the other hand Cecil did it well. Every time that he was on screen, he was just calm and stuff, like, it was just like, dude, dude, come on. Like, that's my kind of gaming. Like, I don't know if Bob sort of type gamers exist out there. Like, if they do, that's cool, I guess, and I guess I had to change my mindset. But in, in my life, I, I don't see any gamers that are like Bob. And also, Janie, I think for me, really broke it as, and her dialogue was written really, I don't know. Like, her interaction with Kamiko was fine, but when her actual gaming s sequence showed up, it was just, like, really weird. As in, she'll, like, talk to a video game, and then, like, yeah, I'm totally into it. And then all of a sudden, Kamiko's trying to be like, oh, you can't be doing this. And then all of a sudden, she's back into real life talk, and it's just like, um... Again, maybe it's people that exist like that, and I don't know them. Maybe that's just my personal problem. But for me, while watching this, this pulled me out of the immersion. But beyond that, I really did enjoy the premise. I totally wish it was longer. Like, it was pretty short. I mean, it's a short film. But I wish that was more, like, stuff happening. And I, I totally would check out whatever this team is coming out with next. And, yeah, I mean, thank you for giving me a chance to review this. It was enjoyable. It was, like, really different. I mean, I haven't seen short film on this sort of budget and, like this kind of quality or this kind of premise before so it was it was kind of fun and different and yeah thanks for sharing it with me and now i'm sharing with more people i guess the entire casting is all down below you can check out the team and see if they have done anything that you might check out in the future or even now so that's pretty much it for this short film review of game companion 